and welcome to Three Minute Maths. In this particular video we're going to be dealing with two relatively tricky, difficult, um, simultaneous equations. The reason they're difficult is because you've got these negatives around here. Okay, so the way that we normally solve these equations is that we multiply them so we can isolate some of the terms. If you're not sure about that, if you have a look at the link, that will take you through to the playlist and there's a couple of different examples. But what we're going to do with these two is the first one I'm going to multiply through by 3. Now if I do that, it means I get 21x minus 15y equals 60. So I've taken the first equation, I've multiplied it by 3. The second equation I'm going to multiply through by 5, because if I do that, it means then that I get minus 40x, because eight times, uh, minus 8 times 5 is minus 40, minus 15y, and then 60 again. Okay, so that gives me the advantage now that I've got two terms, 15y and 15y. Okay. I need to get rid of those terms, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to minus them. I'm going to be very careful with what we're going to do here, because if we look at this, if you just ignore everything else, I've got minus 15y minus minus 15y. So it's minus 15 minus minus 15. Okay, well, as you uh, might be aware, that when you get two minuses together, it becomes a plus. So let's have a look at that again. We've got minus 15 plus 15. It's this bit that changes to plus. And minus 15 plus 15 means zero. Excellent. So it means then I can get rid of these terms here by minusing. Okay. But I have to do it with everything else as well. So let's look at that. I've got 21x minus minus 40x. Well, minus and minus is a plus. So it becomes 21 plus 40x, so that becomes 61x. Okay, then as we said before, minus 15 minus minus 15, well that gets rid of it, becomes 0. And then I've got 60 minus 60, and that equals 0 as well. Okay, so it's fairly straightforward once you get to this point and you appreciate that you're minusing and it becomes a plus. Well, 61 lots of x is nothing, therefore 1 lot of x is going to be nothing, so x equals 0. And then really it's just a case of taking that value of x and putting it back into one of these equations to be able to then work out the value of y. Okay, uh, so we'll look at the top one. Doesn't really matter which one you choose, it's just it hasn't got as many negatives to deal with. So I'm going to choose this equation here, and I'm going to put this value of x as 0 into the equation. So that becomes 7 times 0 minus 5y equals 20. Okay, so 7 lots of 0 is still 0. So I'm now left with minus 5y equals 20. And then I need to find out y on its own. So what I'm going to do is divide through by minus 5. If I divide by minus 5, it means on this side I get minus 5 divided by minus 5 is just 1, because a minus divided by minus is a positive. Uh, so that leaves me with y. And here I've got 20 divided by minus 5. Well, it's positive divided by negative is a negative. So 20 divided by minus 5 is minus 4. So in this particular set of simultaneous equations, the value of x is 0, the value of y is minus 4. Um, I hope that's been okay for you. It's a little bit tricky, but please have a look at the playlist. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Thank you.